on the same platform. I'm like, yep. this man. <laughs> <sabotaged> <laughs> Dude, it was, it was so funny. I watched the clip of the Fall Guys <laughs> incident, or the Great Deception in 2022, and <laughs> I saw, I switched it over, and you were like, Sam, you're messing it up. Sam, you're messing it up. And then you still <laughs> went over and sat on the wrong thing. I couldn't sort it out in my head. <laughs> it's just like, there goes Danny. Goes like, <laughs> and then Sam, we lost anyways. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's like, it's a GG. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome to the Talk Podcast. I don't even know what episode we're on nowadays. Like 100 Who knows? and something. We're up there. We're ancient. We'd be dead. We are humans. Joined by Jose, Danny. How's it going, Danny? You cover up your pecs, dog. I know. You How are we going to bring the woman audience in? <laughs> you can't. You want me to reveal them? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not what, bringing what them What is your Damn, shirt say? your nips through there, dog. Okay. It's cold in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold in here. Damn. This, this man was gassing me up in, like, the ring camera. Yeah, it yeah. was. He's like, damn, Danny, look at those specs. You it was just out. a little bit more awkward because I just, just got done having sex. Then I switched over to gassing up Danny. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it's like, you could see my you're, perspective. You're in the zone, <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. Me <laughs> driving up, seeing Danny going, <laughs> in front of your ring camera. I'm like, what is he doing? Yeah. I, I'm flexing for the camera because the ring know? is like kind of like I don't know, almost like a fishbowl. It's a fish eye, right? And yeah, and it's like you can see him and Danny's pecs just like boom. It's like damn, Danny is like damn. It's the angle, dude. I swear, <laughs> I haven't done chest day in like a week. Okay, so it's yeah, it's well, the looking oh, good, nice, dog. Nice, it's like, nice. No, it's it's a combination of that and the shirt's yeah. just like a little tighter. It's a flattering yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah, it's real I flattering. Like it. I have one shirt. I have that uh, food war shirt, the blue long sleeve one. that's yeah. a little tighter on me. Yeah, yeah. And like Katie that all the time is like, damn. I was like, yeah, it's a shirt. It's the shirt. You get a nice shirt, you absolutely buy it. Sometimes shirts are perfectly tight around your chest <laughs> and your shoulders but mm-hmm. then everything else is like looser so it's like all right it's not yeah. tight yeah. i look yeah. great right now i get those commercials on tiktok all the oh time oh my god the t-shirts <laughs> like, i know what yeah, you're talking yeah. about where it's like it's like women have push up, push up bras men have these and they're like t-shirts that are supposed to make you look really flattering if you're like a little chubby yeah yeah because it, all it does is it hugs your chest right and mm-hmm. then it hugs your shoulders right so it just it's loose around here and then it's yeah. looser down here but it's straight it's supposed to give you a nice figure for a man, you know? We need that, all right? right? Promote men's health and fashion, <laughs> yeah. all right? Hey, amen, brothers, amen. Yeah. Hey, y'all see the Thor Love and Thunder trailer? I okay. did. I did. That is not what I was expecting that movie to be. What were you expecting it to be? I don't know. Like, more like, uh, is it spoilers to say Jane Focus? Because I feel like everybody knew she was going to be back in the movie for No, I knew it wasn't going to be Jane Focus because it's all about Thor finding himself. Yeah. Well, I thought you'd be in it a lot more, which maybe they were trying to hide those scenes. But mm-hmm. there was Probably. so much like Thor, like going around doing his thing. I was like, damn, and Guardians of the Galaxy was in it a fuck. It yeah. looks like it's that gonna was, be fun. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Which I guess my understanding is uh, it might be a complete misremembrance. Guardians was supposed to come out before this movie. I th- is that correct? I feel like that was correct. I think but... they were supposed to be Guardians. Then it was supposed to be Thor because Guardians would set up like where Thor left off, and then mm-hmm. Thor would because obviously Thor left the Guardians and everything. Um. But then all that stuff with the director happened, and then so they kind of like shelved. Oh, Guardians. with Taika? No, oh, no, no, uh, with um, James Gunn. James Gunn, yeah, James yeah. Gunn. So all the stuff with James Gunn happened, and then they shelved it, and then they're like, "Oh well, fuck." Well, because James Gunn said, "Fuck you, I'm going to DC. I'm doing yeah. Suicide Squad," and he good. said that he wasn't going to do anything until he finished that. Not as and, good as Guardians, but it was good. It was fun. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. Yeah. Anybody see Sonic? No, no. I, I, it got spoiled <laughs> for me. How, wow. how can Sonic be spoiled for you? He went Super Sonic. Oh, uh, wow. well, now it's way up for me. Wow. Everybody, everybody. I heard okay. it was a fun movie. Now, uh, yeah, I heard it was fun. They've introduced Knuckles. Yeah. They uh-huh. introduced Tails. Yeah. So yeah. is the after credit scene has to be Shadow? Oh, there's an after credit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. That's logical. Yeah, connection yeah. of the dots. I feel like Shadow is by far and above a fan favorite. Like, oh, people, people love, love Shadow. Shadow. So I feel like he's got to be the next. I hope so. Like I like Shadow else, a lot. Who else do they do? Yeah. Who else? No, I was talking to someone, they, and that's what they said. Like they, the next movie's gonna be a Shadow. It has. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it's not. Uh, it's not gonna be about that, that pink haired like Rose. No. Rouge, Rogue. Ro- Rouge is the bat. Yeah. Oh, Rose Amy. Or the, Amy. Yeah, yeah, the pink haired. Yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, she'll well, make an appearance. Who I knows? mean, uh, maybe maybe they'll go to the fuck. What is it? Angel Island, where they're from, or whatever. The the chaotix, or the Chows, Jeff, or whatever the fuck the, they name. Those right? were so cute yeah. back in. On, um, yeah. Oh, I was Sonic, Sonic Battle Adventure, Adventure too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I spent God, I hours. Love, like, I spent yeah. hours training mine to beat the shit out of stuff <laughs> in the dojo. Dude, you remember if you wanted to make a devil and you had to literally beat the shit yeah, out the, of it? I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. It hurt <laughs> my heart. It hurt my soul. You just had to sit there and like throw them against the fucking wall, punch them and shit. You're like, oh my god. Yeah, that was Dude. good. That was great. That, that was, was a so really good. Yeah, I love Sonic Adventure too. I'm surprised they haven't tried to bring that back in some sort of like a mobile game format, but mm-hmm. they might just bring him back for the Switch or something. That would make sense. That's, I mean, would they do that with Mario? Dude, speaking of which, Switch Sports comes out. 
coming up I think next oh, is that week. the new one yeah like what's it like, like, new like Wii Sports yeah, yeah. Switch Sports it's not this week but the next one it's gonna Ooh, be that'd be kind of fun to get it's gonna be mom I'm definitely gonna get so it you gotta stream that it's you gotta stream you womping yeah, yeah. 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 stream me playing for a couple rounds right. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> we, it could either be really good or it could be like when we played Mario Golf and Sam got so mad he threw the controller cause Mario Golf really? Mario yeah, Golf you... fundamentally did not work no, it, 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 is it the newest golf? Yes. That one? Then, yeah. Okay, so what happened is for some reason, Sam would go so hard and so fast at swinging, it wouldn't register a swing, and then it would register this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so stupid. And dude. every single time, he's like, I didn't fucking do that. I put my full force into a cartoon swing to mm-hmm, go mm-hmm. as far yeah, as yeah. I possibly could, and it would go, you'd see the club go, eh, just like up and down, <laughs> and then it would come back and go, it's like, dude, it's like, what the fuck is it? He's too tall for the game. So is it, can you do motion sensor and like non-motion sensor? So yes, yeah, yeah you yeah. can. There's yeah. two options. But we and, did but motion sensor. Then they also, the really fun game mode where it's like, you basically, it's like racing golf where like you have to hit it and run to your ball and get it really quick. Yeah. It's only two player. Yeah. We thought it was a four player thing. We're yeah. like, oh, that's so badass. And it's like, yeah. nope. I thought about getting it, but I was waiting for reviews and people were saying like, it was just like underwhelming. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. It, it was not, it was not a good iteration to it at mm-hmm. all. It was like. I don't know. It was bad. Yeah. And the fact that Josh one had nothing to do with it. Yeah. I mean, we're notoriously fat people are good at golf. So <laughs> fat people and lesbians. We yeah. Got, well, his sister yeah, was on the got, golf team in high school. He's got a little bit of the genetics. True. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> he's got it's just a tiny bit. Okay. Have you guys seen Harry Potter yet? Either of you seen the Which Harry one? Potter film? Oh, the new one. Fantastic. No, 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 no. Okay, so I no. literally told everybody. You told, it, you told us on yesterday. Well, I told everybody. He's like, oh, I saw the new Harry Potter. And like, which one? I was like, dude, Fantastic Beasts. Like, oh, I didn't know it was out. It's like, okay. I don't think anyone really cares. cares. Yeah. I don't think so, you know, it's just, I don't think so, fuck it. Is either. it supposed to continue or was this it? I honestly could not fucking tell you, Jose. <laughs> I could not for the life of you. Of you I couldn't tell you. Oh, they guess. set it up like it could continue. Yeah. But so I already told Jose this. Danny, I don't remember if I told you this. Grindelwald, the villain in all of these films. Have you seen any of them? Any of the Fantastic Beasts films? I fell asleep uh, in the first two. I okay, sure, sure, sure. Anything. But so Johnny Depp's character, which then turns, it's, I think it was like Colin Farrell's character, then it was Johnny Depp's character, and then now it's. It was uh, always Johnny Depp's, I think. No, in the first in the first film, he was like Colin Firth or something. Then he ripped off his mask, and then he's like, "Oh, surprise! I'm Johnny Depp." Oh. And then Johnny Depp was in the second one, and then now Johnny Depp got canceled, and somebody else is in this one. I forget his name is. He he's a famous dude. Dude, the Johnny Depp thing is nuts going on right yeah. now. Yeah. So the fucking uh, in Harry Potter it. I got my mind blown because Katie likes Harry Potter a lot. And Matthew knew this as well, which I was just, I thought this was crazy knowledge. Matthew called me a dumb idiot for not remembering this. Okay. <laughs> Grindelwald is in the Harry Potter films and gets yep. killed by Dumbledore. So we already knew he was not going to die in these films. Nothing was going to happen in these films. Zero. What movie? I don't, I don't know. It Matthew was, knew that. Katie knew I, that. I forget which one it is. I knew it. There, there's a Brad flashback. Yeah. I can explain the scene because it was explained to me. There's yeah. a flashback where Dumbledore mm-hmm. is trying to find the Elder Wand because obviously he wants the Elder Wand. And he goes to visit Grindelwald because he was the last known person. And Grindelwald, at the end of this movie, spoiler alert if you care at all, uh, escapes with the Elder Wand. So they still didn't take the Elder Wand from him. So who knows how Dumbledore gets it. So Dumbledore still has to go and beat him. Yeah, so Grindelwald escapes, and then, but in Harry Potter, you see uh, like Dumble- uh, like Voldemort interrogating him. Like, where is it? And he's like, oh, well, who do you think has it? Like, who do you think? And he's like, oh, fucking Dumbledore. And then so he that, then he kills Grindelwald and goes to get it from Dumbledore. Yep. Um, but he escapes, and then at the end of this movie, one of the guys is like, Dumbledore is like, I entrust that you'll go after him and put him in jail. And he's like, rightio. And then, like, that's kind of the end of the movie. Well, so You know how it works, right? Like, to get the Elder Wand? You have huh. to disarm the uh, the wizard holding the Elder Wand, and that's how you get it. So there could potentially be a fourth one, okay? Oh, boy. But, but I, I honestly— They're going to drag him out to was, seven movies. Who's it, like, well-received at all? I, like, do you dude, know? I tell you what. The third what? one was so long and so boring. <laughs> it was They started putting wizard politics into it. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. So now there's the uh, Hogwarts. Yep. But it's also the Grand Wizard world, right? And they elect like a grand chairman of the wizardry, whatever the bum fuck. How they the ministry? do it? Yeah, I have no fucking ministry magic. I don't fucking know. Say how they do it is basically they take everybody to these old ruins, all right? And I don't know if you vote by shooting fireworks up, but they kept shooting fireworks out their one. I'm pretty sure that's how they're voting. They're Huzzah! Shoot, they're shooting fireworks like they go when they show up like mm-hmm. blue with the little symbol or orange or whatever color. But they get this ancient animal. They track down this ancient animal. Okay, imagine if this was real life politics where they have to go and hunt an animal and they capture it. Okay. And they steal this animal who is supposed to be able to see your true character. He like sees your true character and he bows if you're pure hearted. 
but it's incredibly hard to get this thing to bow. Incredibly hard. So they line up the candidates and they let this creature loose before anybody gets the vote. So then the creature walks up to one of them and kneels. And then everybody goes, okay, that guy. Pew! And, just, and that's how everybody votes. It should have been fun. The other way around. Everyone votes and then they're like, oh, let's see if you guys pick the right one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Everybody is like, or I don't know, it's like do some sort of a mixed voting. Like let like some people vote and then like, okay, now it's time for the wild card. Let's see where the fucking animal lands. But the whole premise of the movie was so fucking dumb where it's like Grindelwald killed the like the mom of this little animal and then you find out that he has like almost Rajal Ghoul powers where he could like bring like a little animal back to life mm-hmm. so he kills the baby reanimates it so it's like under his control and it makes it bow to him and it was like oh my god Grindelwald's like true of heart but the the fucking animals walk around looking like a corpse and nobody questions it it's black as fuck it's limping around and it was like yeah that's it that's, okay. <laughs> that's it's all good to me that's man the animal mate Dude, what the that's fuck? the animal and then the main character goes up he killed that thing. That's not it. And like, oh, no, <laughs> like, no way. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are we talking about Newt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, I have the real one because wouldn't you know it that they thought they got the only one, but the mom had twins. So Ooh. there was a second animal. So uh, yeah. I do you like Newt Scamander's character. I hate Newt Scamander. I absolutely <laughs> okay, hate so Scamander. which one did that one bow to? So the real one, okay, yeah, the real ready? One. so there's three candidates. There's Grindelwald, and then there's the two, and there's one. So one of them is an Asian man who they've given no screen time at all, so he's obviously not going to win. Another is a, <laughs> is a girl, and they've given her quite a bit of screen time. She even got tried to get assassinated at one point in the movie. So they release the animal. The animal starts sniffing around, sniffs up to Grindelwald, turns away, doesn't want to go to Grindelwald. Who does he go to? Dumbledore. Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to Dumbledore and kneels, and and that was like a good part because Dumbledore was like, no, no, uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. He's like, go away. <laughs> He's yeah. like, uh, so then he kneels, and then Dumbledore's like, hey, like I'm, I'm honored, but there's gotta be somebody else here, you know? There's gotta be somebody else here. So then he goes over the girl, and it bows, yeah. and everybody's like, and shoots the fucking <laughs> thing up and votes for the girl, and then Grindelwald just yeets off. He's just like, they kind of have him surrounded, but he's got like some magic bubble, and he's like, deuces, and then just falls off a cliff and disappears. Magic. Yeah. It the movie was so garbage, dude. And then they do a whole. I'm not even joking. Like ten minutes after that scene, where the movie has already gone too long, because they got to wrap everything up. Yeah, you know, they could have mm-hmm, just faded mm-hmm, to black mm-hmm, there, or whatever. Mm-hmm. They could have done anything. But then we have to go back to the fucking shop of that fat guy. That's uh, like the comedic relief in this whole in these whole movies. Jacob, oh yeah, I think yeah, his yeah. Name. He's great. He's awesome. He's a, he gets like a wand, right? Yeah, yeah. So he is getting married to the girl that the, he's been the into. curly haired yeah, blonde chick, yeah. right? Um. And now we have to sit there and watch them prepare for a whole bumfuck wedding, like for ten minutes. And then like Dumbledore's hanging outside. People got to come talk to Dumbledore. People got to talk to Newt. Newt's girlfriend comes back. It's like, dude, I don't give a fuck about a single one of these characters except for Dumbledore. It's like, please get them off my screen. It's like I don't care. And then I was waiting the whole time. The movie ends. I quickly pull up Google. Is there anything after the credits? Nope. All right, bye. <laughs> it's like later. No, nope. I ain't yeah, fucking yeah, staying for that, for that shit, shit dude. Yeah, exactly. I am not staying for that shit. Not a single after credit scene. I thought for sure. They would say something about like Dumbledore being like, alive, yeah, right? I, I don't know, some sort of nah, tease. yeah, that's what But you they were do thinking. say in this movie that because like Matthew, he when I talked to him about, it, he's like, oh well, like it seemed like they were setting up like he's gonna come back alive. I was like nah, I'm like nah. Matthew's on the train. Yeah, and he's like, well, they like show so much about the Phoenix. It's like, well, you find out in this movie that the mm-hmm. Phoenix only comes to you when you're about to die. No. So yeah, that's, that's, like, <laughs> no. that's why the Phoenix was like hovering around that emo kid so much Stop. is because oh, he no. was he was dying. So, and, like, that's why I kept leaving Phoenix ash, ash everywhere, because that's, like, the Phoenix But Fox came to Harry. Well, in the the Fox is probably different. Fox is the different uh, yeah, Phoenix. Yeah, but okay. the Phoenix it, itself, like, it can, like, kind of tell when you're dying. So, it started leaving, like, ash everywhere. So, like, oh. there's a the Phoenix, and then there's Fox the Phoenix. I honestly, Jose, could not fucking Because Dumbledore you. has Fox in his uh, uh, chambers. I couldn't tell you, mate. He Bro, might have a phoenix. I didn't know you were that into Harry Potter. You I know, like Harry Potter. But Dumbledore is... technically was slowly dying because he was aging. So, True. I mean, that, and then when he got the like, black hand. Yeah, he was ancient. He was ancient. Makes sense. So Makes sense. this movie really only served the purpose of like 110% locking down that Dumbledore is gay. That is like the that's main. It. That's like the well, main. Because he technique. loves Grindelwald. <laughs> but he officially says it in this movie. Like I he, love you. Like hardcore nails down. Like he's like Grindelwald's like, well, why did you do all that stuff for me? I don't know. Love, foolishness. It's like, okay, yeah, we get it. And he's like. Well, Dumbledore, why can't you attack him? I don't know, love. It's like, dude, we get it. But, but like, you know, like, the whole secret between Dumbledore and stuff like that, right? Like, how about his sister, Ariana? Yeah, that he accidentally killed him. He and accidentally killed her, killed her and stuff like that. In a yeah. Duel. It's nuts. And that and that's the thing that made him. He was originally going to be a, a Nazi. Yeah. Like, oh, he was going to be a muggle murder. <laughs> yeah, he was going to be on Grindelwald's side. Yep. Yeah. Well, that shit's nuts. And then he's just like, oh, my sister died. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. I like people now. 
That's it. Wow. <laughs> wow. I learned something new about you, Jose. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You that, shocked me. That, that, <laughs> that Dumbledore is going to be a Nazi. Yeah. Also, that Matthew's pretty into Harry Potter, too, apparently. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. Kinda, is, well, I feel like is Harry Potter recent for him? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. I just feel like Harry Potter, for most people, has like a pretty steady, like, I like it. You know, mm-hmm. like it's, well, it was most of our childhood. So, yeah. So I think like most people, much like Pokemon, they generally like it. Not too many people like fucking hate Harry Potter. So there's always gonna be like that interest in it. And I think that's what Harry Potter is. It's like, OK, it's like, yeah, I see it. Like, same thing. I, I, I don't really super love Harry Potter. It's like, I see it. I like the world. I like mm-hmm. seeing this I stuff. Like it. I want that fucking game. I would have preferred if they like kind of almost said Harry Potter, but more focused on the American schools. I think that would have been much more right? interesting. Something like I that would have been, been way infinitely cooler. more interesting. But this was boring. It was bad. Do you recommend any of the movies? First, second, a Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, Fantastic Beasts. No, hell Beast. no. They all suck. I can't. The remember first them. one okay, thank God. was a little interesting, where it's like, okay, I kind of <laughs> see what they're getting to. Like they're setting up big things. The second one is all set up for the third movie. Yeah. The third one didn't relate to that movie at fucking see, all. I thought the se- the whole first movie was going to be all in the Americas, and yeah, then no. them bringing in the no. American school mm-hmm. and all no. that stuff. The second one was all set up for some big war, and then there was too much of a gap in between the two movies. And then the third one came out, and I was like, I don't know who any of these characters are, and I don't care. And then they just randomly get rid of like Newt's girlfriend. She's off. She doesn't come back to the end of the movie. It's like they're somehow relying on this one main character, Jacob. It's like, oh, we need you. No, we don't need him. We don't, he's just some random fat guy. We don't need him. It's like, you get anybody else. But he gets a wand from Dumbledore. Yeah, he does get a wand from Dumbledore. And, but he just goes around mucking up everything. That's all so. I know. <laughs> he's like a uh, fucking – Peter Quill in this movie. That's oh, that's his role. No. So he just fucks up everything. <laughs> yeah, Danny, you're Peter Quill. I love Peter. Yeah, sorry, mate. You're gonna be a lot in the new Thor that's movie. Okay. So yeah, yeah. hey, congrats, man. Congrats. Oh yeah. yeah, dude. So when Thor showed up in front of like uh, Peter, right? He was wearing his getup, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, when he's wearing the fucking uh, <laughs> like pretty much uh, Star Lord's like Star Lord's outfit, like, outfit, yeah, yeah. And it looks like is his name Kor? Is that Tiger's Korg? character? Korg? He's gonna yeah. be in this yeah. a lot. I fucking yeah. love, love that, that guy. Character. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> love him. Yeah. Hey man, I like wanna, how they they, they, get they out shifted. Here? You know, like the first door, second door is kind of like darker. Shakespearean, yeah. you know? They were Shakespearean. And the third one is a lot more comedic. Oh, I fucking love it. Well, it's like what they say. Uh, Chris Hemsworth loves playing Thor, and he says he loves the funny aspects of Thor, like yeah. him just doing random shit in mm-hmm. a different world. Like yeah, it's, it's it's good. I like Thor a lot. Thor is one of the ones that I definitely didn't think I would like as much, and I think that's why I liked it so much is because I went in with such low, shitty expectations. But mm-hmm. now like, are eh. your expectations too high? No, I don't think so. No? My expectations are pretty wound for the new Thor, where it's like, hey, if I enjoy it, I enjoy it. Like, I, I'm not looking for Thor. I think it's in a good place. I'm not looking for Thor to blow my mind. It's like yeah. I'm just going into Thor to have a good time. Yeah, and like, okay. if it manages that, it's, it's, it's great. And it's oh. like it's just chilling. So this is just me being a fucking geek and nerd, but you know that giant monster that Thor looks at in like the snow and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Gore, the god witch, is the one that kills them, setting up the whole premise of the movie. And that's one of Thor's friends from like long ago. Wait, say that again. So that giant monster looking thing that in the snow, right? In the yeah. snow, yeah. yeah. That yeah. thing is actually Thor's friend from like years and years ago. And I'm assuming Thor goes to visit him, trying to figure out some answers. Sorry, I'm distracting you with that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Man. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> but it, uh, so Gore is the main villain, and so everyone's saying like, "Oh, Gore's going around killing all the gods." That thing was a god. Who is Gore? Gore the God Butcher. I have. You said that, and that's where I got lost last time. I don't know who I, the fuck Gore is. See, I, I recently read up on him, but I can't remember exactly what it is. But so for like Thor villains, the only one I know and Loki. Okay, well, Loki, obviously, thank you, Jose. Loki, <laughs> Loki is a villain. Uh-huh. Obviously, I know the villains from the movies. But then I also know, like, his human alias that is, like, a Donald bat. Blake. Yes. That's the only other one I yeah. know from a Thor villain, and that's it. I don't know. Literally anybody else. No, it, it, it's been nuts. And in the comics right now, they changed it so much. Like, Mjolnir no longer has its enchantment, so anyone can pick it up and become a, a, a god. Thor doesn't like to hold it anymore because he's a king and, he, and he's just like, I'm supposed to settle down. Yeah. Thor killed the Black Winter recently. Okay, uh, spoiler. You know what that is. He takes Galactus' power, though. Okay, spoiler. So that's badass. <laughs> yeah. Dude, okay. Just keep on going. <laughs> you want me to go? Oh, dude. It, oh, the Thor going. comic is so good right now. That's it. Okay. Dude, this is the first uh, superhero movie. I mean, superhero that got four movies. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Captain was... America would have had an extra one and Captain America said, or... Iron Man, I think, I said mean, no. Iron three. Spider-Man, it's always been three. Yeah, but Spider-Man's going to have a fuck ton now. Yeah, he's going to have a 
That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. And yeah. the first one's Thor. Who would have guessed? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. The first know. Thor movie, I remember you telling me, you're like, Jose, you should watch it. You'd love the character. I'm like, okay, I watched it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it was really cool. Second movie, I'm like, it's all right. It's cool. I think some of the best movies are ones you go with like no expectations. Like, let me check this shit out. And it's like, damn, like, that was good. I didn't like, know what, yeah. I didn't know Taika Waititi all that well, except mm-hmm. for like a couple of things he's directed. And that's about it. That is louder than That is normal. louder Let's than usual, dude. Eyes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that is so loud. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> All right. I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Um, uh, you didn't know Taika Waititi. You gave me a review of all the Thor movies. So. <sighs> you want me to review them? No. First one, okay. Pretty good. Okay. I liked mm-hmm. it. Uh-huh. Second movie, oh, wait, wait, then we go Avengers. I was like, yeah, Avengers was dope. Yeah. Uh, then it was uh, Dark World. L- Dark World. And I was like, ah, it's, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. A little lost, confused. Mm-hmm. Then what do we fast forward to? Uh, the other Avenger movies? Yeah. It's not in anything else other than that. And I'm like, Badass. Oh no, Taika Waititi's and then yeah, yeah, yeah. everything else. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah. I think he looks cool with the fucking jacket and just ripped off sleeves yeah. and stuff, and he's Jack now. Yeah, he looks cool. He looks cool. Thor has been they've done a good job with Thor. I enjoy Thor. I love his new cape though. Did you see yeah. that? It's got the fur on it. It's yeah. looking dapper. I know. Yeah, I love like, that. He's going to give them apple bottom jeans, dude. He's going to be looking real. Dude, I know he's going to yeah. be wearing those fucking blue <laughs> jeans. <laughs> he's going to be fucking fire, dog. I like the training the, montage. Yeah. Yes, it began. He's, he, did you see a stupid ass hat that says uh, "Strongest Avenger" and he's like doing the fucking metal <laughs> chains and stuff? I'm the strongest. <laughs> oh, no, he's Point Break. <laughs> I like that. So, uh, Danny, I have to know. It was Easter. Uh, what did you do for Easter? Oh, uh, I went to collect or hunt for eggs with my buddies. No way. No. Where? Vicariously. Yeah. Vicariously. Uh, how many? How many did you uh, get? What was it? How many did you get? I'm not gonna tell you. You should read my mind. Uh, you were there vicariously, so I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, you yeah. got nine, nine. Uh, yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah, that's, exactly. But it's not a weird number because exactly. was he good at hiding eggs? Yes, he made it so obvious for some, and then he made it so difficult for some. You gotta lay. I went for aesthetic on some of them because you want mm-hmm. the yard to look like it's filled with eggs. But yeah. I only had a limited number of eggs. So he like, fucking yeeted some of them underneath the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like dead center under the trampoline. I put like an egg. Then I put one on top on the dead center. Yeah, and, so, <laughs> and so my girlfriend walked in and I was like, fuck, I got to get that one. Yeah. And I'm underneath getting the other one. And then Katie's like, there's one on the cat legs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Josh got that one. Yeah, <laughs> Josh got that one. Yeah. Why don't you guys move that? Like, I don't want to touch, to touch it. it. For Use those of you tongs. that do not know, they ruin the tongs bag. forever. Use a bag. No hell, no. Then you gotta touch. You're basically touching with your skin. That's gross. <laughs> oh my god. We're a bag. You're a baby. Just you like, double I'll bag get, it. I'll get you a bag after this. You go get it. It's not my problem. Okay, just so everybody that is not caught up is there is a from I don't know thigh down is what we would call that. Yeah, yeah. Straight yeah, up from like yeah. right yeah. here thigh down. A uh, I don't want to say decapitated, but I don't know if that's head exclusive. <laughs> a severed. A, a severed. Limb. Kitten leg or a, a full cat. cat, cat. I think it's an adult cat. And half of the leg is eaten, like picked to the bone, and the other is just left, like I don't know, like calf down to the paw, just severed it's in our fluffy, backyard, yeah. just like sitting next to the trash can. <laughs> so like a coyote fucking picked a cat clean, which kind of gives makes me feel bad talking about. But I put an egg right next to the little crevice of the little leg where it's a little mm-hmm. bending, and Josh picked it up because he's an animal. So it is. You got to make sure you got that egg. So he just went right in, dude. Did you hide any on the roof? No. So the rules were it could be anywhere outside, obviously, like in the backyard, all that yeah. stuff, but anywhere on the bottom floor. So okay. Okay. I didn't go That's up fair. on any roofs or anything like that. I did think of tying one to a rope and like having to hang off the roof, but you know. That would have been funny. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that. I hit a whole bunch. I got like five big eggs and then I put cash in it. Oh, well, I put cash in four of them. Not one of them, though. Yeah, one not, of them. Not one of them. <laughs> Was it empty? No, even worse. It said, I'm gay. (laughs) (laughs) So that was just like the draw. That one was a you. Yes. I was was like, like, cool. And he's like, he's like, oh, I don't think you guys have looked everywhere in that area. I was like, okay. I'm like, oh, there's a big one in here. I'm like, cool. I got the first big one. And I was, I was like, there's no, I don't hear anything. So I was like, whatever put it in my baggie mm-hmm. and then everyone else gets a big one and they're opening it and they're like oh there's money in mine josh got ten dollars mm-hmm. and i was like oh i wonder what mine is you're <laughs> gay <laughs> classic <laughs> great. I, was like, <laughs> classic. I was like it said if you get this egg you're gay <laughs> yep <laughs> you gotta let them know you know well jose today i learned you, know? <laughs> you learned many things that i like harry potter can you just 
Put that down, sir. <laughs> it's not a hammer. You're, you're pointing that at me. Yeah, he's right? stabbing in the couch, too. Like, <laughs> yeah. you don't know full that. On, I've been watching you the whole <laughs> yeah. time. I was like, full on scissors. Yep, thank you. Give me. Okay. He's okay, it. okay, he's okay. <laughs> That's what you're playing with uh, any sort of scissors. Well, the rule was I wasn't allowed to play with tools. Yeah, That's this not is a tool. tool. This is a tool. It's a utensil. <laughs> it's not a utensil, it's a tool. It is a tool. For some people, it is a tool. A utensil. Josh is a tool. Sure. He's got the shirt, so he likes the band. So <laughs> I can't play with him. We're, right. we're triple, triple down in. Yep. So, Danny, what'd you do? I know you were sleeping. Yeah, I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so called I, your ass. Okay, I got your call. Yeah. But that by the time I woke up, it was like the rest, the last ring. I was like, okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. But then Josh calls me, mm-hmm. and then I pick up that one. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, you were. You were. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to get offended, but you know, like your your call like warmed me up to yeah. wake up, you know. Yeah. So you At really point, did the grunt work. Danny is dead asleep. Okay, he's like, hello, and then Josh is like, hey, buddy. He's like, what do you want? And <laughs> Josh is like, hey, I know this is really like awkward, and I hate to do this to you, but like I'm in jail. Like I need you to kind of get me. And yeah. He's like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm just fucking. I think Josh felt really bad. Josh was like, he did. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's like, he totally Fuck believed me. <laughs> hey, now you're not gonna believe him next time. Now I'm not. He's, yeah. It's the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. It's game over. Yeah. So, he's gonna have to rot in jail. He's gonna have to be someone's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. We went and got Duncan before we went there, and I gotta say, Duncan donuts suck. The donuts are not that good. Those are not good. I didn't like donuts, them that much. Got yeah. coffee. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Well, no, Josh well, we, made well, us coffee. Yeah. So Josh made coffee, but Katie did get coffee from there. She said the coffee was all right. The coffee is usually good there. Yeah. I, I know coffee is more what it's they're known there. for. Yeah. But like the donuts were garbage. They almost felt like they were like super They were like squishy. cold almost. Yeah. yeah they yeah. didn't even, they weren't warm. So I guess it makes sense, but still like fuck. Yeah. But they were like squishy, almost like plasticky. And I was like, eh. Like, he didn't like the glazed donut either. He no. was just like, "What is this?" And then there was that was that old fashioned donut that looked like mm-hmm. a fucking like anus. What was that one? That was gross. <laughs> yeah, that was really nasty. I don't know, but it was like an old school glazed donut, and it wasn't yeah. like the nice round soft ones that we know. It was like all crumbly. Yeah, it was like rigid. It looked like one of the flower plants from fucking Last of Us. Is the head it looked like? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I don't know. That. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what those are, but they're nasty. It's like get that shit away from me. I don't want it. So those were just. Why Dunkin' Donuts? You know, what about uh, Donuttery? We were trying to find a place that was open on Easter. What about Donuts and Burgers? Wasn't that open? Uh, Well, I don't know if they're open on Easter. I would imagine they're not because the school's closed. Um, So So you go to like the big chains? Yeah, we were just, we were driving around and we went towards, I don't know why we went over there first, but we went to go check to see see if Donuts was, or Dunkin' was open just because we got a drive through. And it was the first thing that was open. It's like, okay, cool. It's like, we'll swing through Dunkin'. Just went through and yeah, it was was a disappointment. I won't be doing that again. It was garbage. Farmer's Boys was good, though. Uh, 6 a.m. Farmer Boys. Yeah, yeah. Pissed off that guy at the window for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's that Farmer Boys? I always see it. I don't know. Okay, what they so it's so many things. I don't dude. know what they I don't know how to explain it as much as it's it like kind like of. Sandwiches? Um, it's like yeah. American traditional, but they have breakfast burritos. They have breakfast platters. They have salads. Yeah fucking burgers they got like a little bit of everything um they're kind of like fast food diner food if that makes any sense that's kind of what they're like where they have like a little bit of everything Mm -hmm. um but we went there at 6 a.m and they must have just opened or something like that and they have breakfast lunch dinner but they don't have any times next to it so i'm like i'm like i it's like i guess serving a like lunch right now and he's like yeah but it's gonna take longer and i was like okay <laughs> it's like, yeah. uh, and then i was like the uh, and last time i went there i got a grilled cheese and asked mysteriously off the menu i'm like do you guys have grilled cheese yes sir we do and I, was like, I was like okay it's like let me get the grilled cheese and then i want uh order of fries and then a soda okay so the grilled cheese combo it's like, <laughs> oh, it's like you yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i was like yep yeah, that's gonna be it You're like, okay first window and i was like i told Katie, he's like i don't know if i like him or if i hate him it's like i kind of get this like he probably gets that question about what they serve a hundred times a day but it's like and it was the first question of the morning yeah, yeah. it's like i get it 6 a.m on eastern but it's like man it's like he was straight to the point and like he's taking no shit it's like yeah we fucking have that idiot it's like it's like he probably, probably got called him like last minute by his manager like oh i need someone to work yeah. on easter please yeah i would be so pissed I, I feel like if you want, like, if, here's how I run a business. Here's how I would staff for holidays. I would do a survey. Does anybody want to work on the holiday? And if I have enough people to open for the holiday, then we're good. But it's like, if nobody wants to work, then I fuck it. <laughs> yeah, because some people want to work on the holidays. Yeah. Like, there are people who, like, they don't have anything well, else to do. Well, some people it's get like, double pay. Well, yeah, they'll get a holiday yeah. pay. So it's like, there are people who'd want to work that. And it's like, hey, if anybody wants to, it's like, here's your chance. If not, it's like, we'll just fucking close. Like, yeah. And it's like, hey, if there's only one person, sorry, mate. It's like, <laughs> it's like you ain't running it. Yeah, it's like, you're going to have to go do something else. Sorry, man. Because, 
I wouldn't want to, but they're psychopaths that would want to, for sure. Yeah, very much so. Fuck yeah. That. Um, what am I watching? We were just started watching something. Oh, have you guys watched Our Flags Mean Death? It's a Taika Waititi. It, well, he's in it. He's a, um, it's a it's movie a, or a It's a pirate series? show. It was Hello? an HBO Max original series. Really? And Taika Waititi's in it. Is it funny? So, I I don't know. So here's here's my thing. I'm going to kind of meta myself on this one. I don't know if I actually like it or if I just like the premise that it's pirates and I'm just enjoying it. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like you like the pirate. Yeah, because like, there are some parts that are funny and that like I, I laugh. At other times I kind of giggle. I'm like, I didn't really find that funny. It's like I don't know. I don't know why I laughed at that. Like, Wait, is it like a sitcom? Yeah, like it's a, kind like of like a drama. It's, it's I kind of like, like a, sitcoms. It's kind of mm. like a um, I don't know, almost like Parks and Rec kind of show. I love that shit. But it's like they don't ever do any sort of talking to the camera. But it's just like it features this guy. Okay, I'm gonna give you the short the premise. It's he calls himself the gentleman pirate, and he's this. That'd be Sam right there. He's this rich guy who was had to go do like one of those rich people weddings where they wed for money. He was super unhappy, so he spent a large portion of his money to build his own pirate ship. And then Gang. went to go fuck off to become a pirate. But he knows nothing about pirates. He hates death. He hates fighting. He knows it's like nothing about it. He just Sam. loved the idea of pirates. Just loved it. Uh-huh. I think that's your D D character. <laughs> so, I straight up think that's why you like so it. So now he started going into all, all these things and is like his pirate crew wants to do mutiny because like all he wants to do is like read them bedtime stories. And, like <laughs> talk about like how great life could be. And it's like they want to go pillage something. And it's like like, I got you guys. And they pull up to like a rowboat and they steal a fish. You know, they're like, hey, I got you guys. Like, hey. <laughs> steal a fish. Yeah. And it's like, it's just like this one guy who does not know what he's doing, just getting into all these little pirate scenarios. And like, ah, uh, like, what, what, like, age is this in? Uh, it's like the Golden Age Pirates. He's Black Beauty. Oh, in it. hell black yeah. In it, so. it sounds like similar to, uh, you know, like We're in the Shadows. That vampire. Oh, like, yeah. Like yeah. that kind of yeah. style, you know? It's very similar. Wait, to that. isn't that a Taika Waititi movie? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah, he was involved okay. in that too. So. It's it's yeah. it's good. I enjoy it. There was the first episode is literally it's like kind of the office what I prepared to where the first episode was called the pilot. Like literally uh-huh. it's just the pilot, pilot episode. Yeah. Um it was not good. It uh, was not good. Like that was a that was like we finished watching it, I was like, I don't know if I even like that show. And then we watched the second one, the second one was much better. Second episode was much better. So how long are the episodes? Like forty five minutes? Uh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, about that time. And it's done. So it's like I'm trying to watch the whole thing, see like what it's like. But some of it's funny, some of it's super hit or miss. Everybody kind of has like a UK accent, so I don't know if it's like that kind of more comedy type oh, of British show. humor kind of thing. Um, yeah, but some of it is very good, and some of it is like very not. But I'm enjoying it so far. That's what we're watching right now because we finished Ted Lasso, which we've been raving about. And that, that was, was good. Really good, yeah, really, really good. But now we don't have another show that like we're really. Like, I just want to watch the 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 guy from It's Always Sunny and that video game one. Yeah, I forget what that one's called. I think that's another Apple show though. Yeah, it like, is. They're it's making the Apple a, TV a video yeah. game studio, and yeah. it's got the Always Sunny guy. Have you seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Uh, not the whole entire thing, but you I know, here fucking, and there. I yeah. fucking love that shit. It's right up my fucking <laughs> funny bone. <laughs> I just can't help it. It's just yeah. too funny. Uh, I've never watched it. I see clips from it, and I have the same feeling that show. I was like, yeah, some of that is funny. Other of it's like, I just don't care. I just mm-hmm. don't care. Dude, there's an episode where, it, like, they fucking have withdrawals, and they think they're just all getting sick. Yeah. And so fucking uh, Danny DeVito's character locks him in the fucking bathroom and they find out that fucking uh, Charlie has been keeping uh, alcohol in in bleach bottles and just chugging yeah. them. And they're like, oh, my God, we weren't sick. We were just going through withdrawals and everyone's super <laughs> happy. And they come outside and Danny DeVito's a clean freak at this point. So he's freaking out. He's covered in fucking baby oil and hand sanitizer. and He's just shaved all of his hair. and He's wriggling around on the floor. He's like, cleanliness. <laughs> I, I fucking broke down. I was dying. Good was, shit. Yeah. Was that funny, Danny? It was all right. He even, <laughs> he's like, he didn't pay right. attention. Uh, so he's just like, he had to be there. <laughs> it's, it's one of those things like you literally have to watch it and be like, oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've been watching Spy Family. Oh, oh, episode two. How do you like episode two? Okay, I haven't watched episode two yet, okay. but I've been reading the manga. Uh, it's so like good. Chapter like eighteen bah, bah, bah. or some shit. Like, I, did, what, what did we do? Four uh, volumes, right? Yeah, four yeah. volumes of that. Yeah, yeah. it's super it's, good. It's so good. It's like yeah. so wholesome. It's cute. You know, I fucking love nice. the daughter. She's just hilarious Her the whole time. Her faces are so mm-hmm. funny. Mm-hmm. But so the wife, waifu material. Yeah, she's fucking awesome. I love her. Yeah. I mean that manga and i have not watched any anime but i'm gonna go ahead and group it it's just so it's gonna be fantastic good. yeah it's so yeah. good yeah people are gonna love that shit it's like I'm, there's some of that stuff that we read where it's like man there's no fucking way they haven't done anime for that and now they're coming around doing like all the anime which makes sense dude it's, it's, sam told me about fucking jujutsu kaisen i 
Did I see that stop. fat spoiler video on TikTok? No, I had read it but at that point. I just after that, I yeah. went home and read as much of it as I could. Yeah. Dude, there's some holy guy, shit. There's some guy on Did you send me that? I might have. He oh, might have sent that to I you. I sent that to you. How far I'm like, you? I don't recognize this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 What's happening here, yeah. dude? It's so good. Yeah. There's some guy. I, I just scrolling, and he like takes the manga panels, and he's like, "Oh, he animates it's like, them. It's crazy." Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like manga arcs that are gonna blow people's mind. But then he like takes the manga panel. I don't know if it's this actual guy, but somebody's doing it out there. And he like animates the panels, like so he like just like moves certain parts, and it looks so good. Yeah. And one of them was the fat Jujutsu Kaisen spoiler. I thought I sent it to both of you. I might have just sent it to Jose. Mm-hmm. But goddamn, dude, dude, I was dude. loving it. I was like, mm-hmm. "Fuck yes!" Yeah. That's gonna take so long to get to it though. Jujutsu Kaisen is because what's next uh, in I think order. it's the Shibuya arc. Is it the Shibuya yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't. I can't. Has he animated uh, uh, like all those manga chapters up until the recent one? No. No, no, no. no. It's just like he picks it's a couple of them. It's far behind. Yeah. Like, there's totally enough uh, like content for Jujutsu Kaisen to probably go another couple seasons. Mm. They're way behind. So, and then, like, the Shibuya arc is super long. Too, I don't so know. Like, they could, like, easily do, like, a couple of seasons. I, have you read the Shibuya arc? I have not read the manga at all. Oh, okay. 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 How many okay. chapters? Okay. How many chapters are there? I, I might start. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I blitzed it at work. There's like really hundreds? Uh, there's like... probably like 160 something or something like okay, that. That's yeah. not it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's, so, it's such an easy like read. It's so yeah. good, though. Jesus, guys, and I highly recommend his bomb. Mm-hmm. Oh, I sent it. I don't know if did I sent it in our group chat. My Hair Academia box set coming out. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude, I saw that. I did easy, not pre order it, though. Yeah. Oh, I did. I well, it. Only because I'm trying to decide whether I want the Soy Fawn figure or yeah. I want that. I saw that come up and I was like, my time of not buying any My Hero manga has finally paid off. Like, <laughs> that's, that's what I've been <laughs> doing. I've been like, okay, I don't want to buy it right now. I think it's good. Dude, well, with the big series, which is that was my what my qualm with like the Full Metal Alchemist thing and One uh, One Punch Man. I worry that I have bought all of those and they're going to release the box set. I'm going to want the box set. I think for One Punch Man, you're 100 percent correct on that one. Yeah, Fairy Tale has a box set, I think. But like One Punch Man has so many volumes out already. I'm surprised they haven't done like a box set yet. But who knows? Because well, Bleach is what seventy eight volumes. Yeah, or, or, yeah. Or my there? my hero took a long time to get with the box set though, so we'll fucking see. And then like the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood like hardcovers, I don't know if they'll do one, but if they do a box set, that'd be fucking lady. It'd be so Jeez, good. It's like a collector's edition. Yeah, that'd it's be, be so good, dude. So I'm waiting to see. I want those. That I keep every time wow. they come up on, uh, on wow. right stuff. Yeah. It's like you better get yours now. I click yeah. on it, out of stock. I'm like you motherfucker. Dude, if they go out of print, there's gonna be worth so much. Which one? The, the bleach box. The bleach box that's above your head. Yeah, oh, I don't think they're yeah. gonna go out of. Uh, out if of print. they do, yeah. I'll be rolling in the cash, dude. I don't think they will, just because bleach is coming back and it's gonna be mega popular. Dude, when box sets go out Damn. of print, they like it, it becomes so much money. I wanted to get it's two, crazy. two of each. It's crazy. Totally. So is that the collector's item that yeah. you should be? Able well, for? yeah. So, but you gotta like, I don't know. You, there's not really a way to figure it out. Sometimes they'll send you yeah. emails. They'll be like, "Oh, get these before they're going out of print," and then you might as well fucking buy them at that point because like they'll do yeah. it for DVDs and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, if one of them is a beloved series, it's gonna become expensive in a couple of years. So like, my best one is there's a comic I kill whole boxes up there. At a certain point, Sentai was just like giving them away. These those top left two right there. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. They were giving Aren't away for like one? 25 bucks a pop. Just like here. No, there's only two. There's only two? Um, they're like, here, take them. It's like 25 bucks a pop. Like, just buy it. So I bought them. I was like, I bought both of them. It's like, you know, love a comic and kill. It's like, why would I not get it for 25 bucks a pop? I think they're now worth like a couple hundred bucks a pop. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. It's it's crazy. You know, our Grimjo figure is really expensive now, too. Is it? There's only one print of him. Damn. They're, they haven't done a rerun or said Yo. they're going to do a rerun. If you're one of the lucky cunts that has that fucking space bounty hunter Yoko. You. God, see, I wanted that one so fucking bad. Mm-hmm. How much is that worth? I, I think it's like I, a grand last I checked. It's expensive, oh. mate. Oh, my God. It is so expensive. So I, and I have not heard anything about them reprinting that shit. They're not so going to, I think. I just can't. I People would buy it, which is weird. Did you get Yoko the pop-up parade for, Yoko? No, I did, dude. I have like not bought any figures. I'm trying to pay off all my debt like as quickly as possible. I can't can. help myself. At least get it to a manageable spot. Mm-hmm. But it's like, man, it's like then I can't buy anything. I get yeah. no fun. Well, can you buy figures? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, you know, fem- yeah, yeah. female. I can't. I can't. I can't. He can't. He just can't. He just. <laughs> <laughs> he just cannot display them proudly. <laughs> I just. Listen. Here's the thing with having a girlfriend. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let yeah, me tell sure. You. Tell us. Tell us. They take up a lot of money. Mm-hmm. All right, so it's like you're stuck. When single Sam was around, I had income for days. Yes, Bruh, he did. You just, <laughs> Sam was so rich. Yeah, I was always so jealous. Sam was getting new stuff. Yeah. I, was like, uh, I only got to look out for number one. You yeah, know, it's like, splurging. And yeah. number one is cheap. <laughs> it's like we're just, give me some talk about just chilling. Figures, number one doesn't good. want to go anywhere. He doesn't want to do anything. He's totally content sitting on his ass at home playing the same video game over and over again. 
Number two, though, is like, oh, man, it, they want to go places. They want to do things. They want to go out to eat really nice places. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> And it's like you can't make them pay all the time. Yeah, you know? I know. Rude. That's just rude. Which so. if, if, if it was the world was cracked, they should be, honestly. Yeah. So, But no, unfortunately, I can't. So like that My Hero Academia box set was probably the first like anime thing I bought for myself in like four months. Yeah, it's only 100. It was only like $110, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's it was 40%, it was 40 it's 40% percent off. off right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. On Amazon. Right. Yep. Did, why is why is uh discounted? Dude, Amazon literally released. just straight up does that sometimes. Yeah, they, they don't joking. care. Oh, They'll weird. just do it. It, it drives up sales revenue for them. I would tell the people all the time at work because like we had a lot of people at Barnes and Noble when I worked there who their only reason for working there was a discount. And the discount, if anybody wants to know, for Barnes and Noble is forty percent off. You get forty percent off, and obviously it's not off sale items, but off like the list price, which is good because a lot of books and stuff never go on sale. Like never, ever, ever go on sale. And so you get forty percent off, and that's including like you be box sets, it could be anything. Forty percent off. Um. So people work there, they'll only do like a four hour shift a week and they'll just work there just to get the discount for all the books that they buy because they already buy so many books. But a lot of times Amazon just has it on, on there for 40%. Yeah. Just like straight up. Straight up. Undercutting them. There. Yeah. Hell yeah. So it's like I would tell them all the time, it's like, yo, it's like with the way I see our customers handle all the books, I'll just get off of Amazon. It's like, mm-hmm. fuck it. It's like if it shows up dented or something, I'll just send it back to Amazon and get another one. It's like, I, it's not worth doing it here. No way. People manhandle those books like crazy. Dude, I'll tell you what, I typically go browse for books. In Barnes and Noble, and then go buy. Yeah, you and everybody, you, know, like just, you like, and fucking just... everybody, man. That was a yeah. big problem we had. Whereas, like, they wanted to start counting at one point. So this is so there some Barnes and Noble lore. At a certain point, it went through like a couple of different hands because it went through an equity firm and ended up selling to somebody. Then that's who the new owner of Barnes and Noble is. But there were a couple of different people at the helms for like a very short period of time, basically trying to push their vision of what they wanted for Barnes and Noble. And one of them was they were going to install a thing that would count how many people walk in versus how many people actually buy something in the store. And that was one of the things that we always talk about. It was like, there's no fucking way. It's like, that's going to look good. It's like, yeah. you're going to get the count of how many people walk in and you're going to be like, God damn, they can't sell shit in this store. Because <laughs> yep. like, so many people come in and do that. Like, they, well, they, they like, treat it like a library. Yeah, they like library. browsing. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you can't tell people not to browse because it's a fucking book. Like, that's yeah. just in the nature of a book. But it's like, yeah. At a certain point, it's like, yeah, we're, we're a bookstore, not a library. It's like, you got to you gotta nix it, you know? But it's like they, they – that was one of their bright ideas they were going to do is starting to count the people versus how many people actually buy things like that is going to be a bad news. That's going to be mm-hmm. real bad news. Never did it, of course. So, But, yeah. Well, you guys have like you know tables set up. Like people just post it up everywhere. Just, so you know, under the new books. guy because the new guy is the owner of Waterstone. Like that's like mm-hmm. his UK version of the, of the bookstore. He has Waterstone set up to be like that where there's like a lot of lounge areas. You can like mm-hmm. hang out and like read your book. And like that's how he likes to promote that stuff. And Barnes and Noble used to be a lot like that, but then like with COVID, it gave them a very good excuse to kind of like nix all those little chairs and stuff, so yeah. people can't sit down. Now they they've already been back; they're all coming back. But then they're trying to set up like little hangout areas and stuff. They're bringing back book clubs, which like old ladies are allowed to host book clubs inside of the store. So okay. they're bringing all that okay. shit back, which Lovely. is all garbage. But you know whatever. Do they have to rent it? Like, I think they just ask. They just really? they, they just reach out to the person and they they just they can run it. There you go, Book Sam. Club, let's Book go. Club, the Weaver's Guild. <laughs> Has yeah, everybody perfect. read this yeah. chapter or this manga? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to say anything mean to our people, but I've seen the people who come into our store, uh, our local store, and looking for manga, and I don't want to know any of them. So <laughs> <laughs> just, just just personally, yeah. yeah. Wow, rude. Like girls included. Eh, no, <laughs> it's like no, thank you. So they some of them are just the worst people. Just the worst people. And, like, I had to tell one guy, literally today at work, somebody I work with was talking about, I forget how we even got it, but he's like, oh, it's like, yeah, it's like, I know it's like all of the manga now. He was saying at his Barnes & Noble, they um, have it behind basically, like, one of the, the beeping machines where you, if you were to walk out with manga, it goes beep, beep, beep. Um, and they don't let you, like, leave with any of the manga before purchasing it. Like, you have to purchase it in the section of manga. Like, they have it in its own little oh. spot. Um, and he's like, yeah, I don't know why that is. It's like, I'll tell you what that is. Like, people steal the shit people, out of that. That was, it, yeah, people would <clears> steal it like crazy. Hugely high in theft. And when they steal manga, they're not stealing like a couple books. They're stealing like a fucking bundle. Of what? Books. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. They like basically scoop like four volumes into their backpack and just dip. It's like, dude, it's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. Like we moved our section That's of manga insane. right next to where the customer service desk is because like mm-hmm. it's so much like so so much foot traffic and stuff from the positive point of view. Real point of view is because people were nicking it like non fucking stop. So we moved it to be really close, where it's right next to the desk. People still just fucking make it off with it. Like, they by, don't by, care. <laughs> by handfuls, just walking out with it. And there's nothing you can do. And you guys and, can't do anything about it, right? Okay, so here's Legally, the they, they, here's the two sides of the coin to that. All right, and this is what my old manager used to do, and I hated it. He for graphic novels and manga. Graphic novels he liked, so he wouldn't do as much. Manga he hated. Did not like manga. 
So we have these stickers, the little square security stickers. That oh, you put on. the there's, ones that would tear it. So there's two versions of it. There's <laughs> there's one that is a, a plain white one, and that one will easily come off. You just peel it, and it's like whoop, and just comes right off. And those are like the nice tags where mm-hmm. it's like you put them on, it still beeps, but they're meant to be taken off. Then there's the ones that have, have like a barcode on them. Those will rip whatever pages on. That is not meant to come off. That is like a permanent sticker. If you try to take that off, it will rip and destroy anything you do. And that's the point of those stickers. The point of those stickers is to make it so if you do try to take it off, you're ripping the book and it's game over. So they would always try to put it on a page that's like not important. So like manga has like ads and stuff in the yeah. back. And it's like, oh, it's like check out this book. You like So you put it right on that. Like boom. But then it's like that whole page is ruined. The whole yeah. page. You cannot take it off. And he would do it to every book that came in the store. Every book. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, dude, it's like you can't. It's like you got to stop. He's like, no, you need to do it. You need to do it. You need to do it. I was like, nah, I'm not fucking doing that. So I stopped doing that. And then there was a time where he got like, I was like, I just mixed that all together. Yeah. I was like, we're not doing that shit anymore. Fuck that. And they've pretty much, I think at this point, I don't know if this is true. Our store basically got rid of all those evil stickers, like the really bad ones all together. Now we only have the nice ones. But the problem with the nice ones is people know you can just take them off. So, oh, they, so just, they just rub them because off or like if you peel them they off. try to hide them in the books. But if you just flip through the book, it'll stop on the page because like yeah, there's yeah, a little in, in that. it's kind of like a bookmark. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So it'll stop on the page, and they just take it off and they just walk out. Like yeah, it's put it on them. a spoiler. It stops them for five <laughs> seconds. Like it's really good, but there's nothing we can do. It's like if it, it it's what they say. They said this all the time in stores. Like somebody wants to steal, they're gonna steal. It's yeah. like it just it is what it is, and that's like corporate doesn't get that. Like what the fuck, guys? Like why are you so high that? It's like dude, it's like if somebody wants to steal, they're gonna fucking steal. They give the classic corporate answer. Hey, if you were to customer service them more, they wouldn't have stolen. It's like, no. <laughs> it's like, stop. It's like, it's like, I could have held his hand. And he, the moment I let go, he would have fucking walked out the door. Exactly. Shit. Like, there is Please, not sure. Do not hell. steal this. You could have told him his life, your whole life story. Yeah. You know, you guys could have They would like, oh, I feel for this young gentleman. I'm like, nope. Later. <laughs> but I want this more than I like him. Uh, yeah. I got fucked by one of those stickers before buying like yeah. a, a comic book. And I, I was just pissed. Like, like I was like, why? Like, yeah, it makes it no sucks, sense. Dude, I'm telling you. They, comic book they, stores they so don't it's all you don't, based on the receiver they mm-hmm. they don't give a shit where they put it so it's so dumb toxic yeah that is. i i try to tell them not to do that but it's like at a certain point i was new there and it's like well what am i gonna do like who are they gonna listen yeah. to you know they're like ruining the product you know oh, like, it's, it's, fun. it's fun but it's like all they care about sometimes is the theft you know they're like oh we're sticking it to those fuckers it's like no it's like you're not it's like you're just sticking it to the really nice people and like yeah. the people who are gonna steal they're gonna steal and they'll probably just resell it with a sticker on it and then it's like okay cool I'm like love it thank you it's like I'm glad I I got a resold one with a fucking security sticker in it. Shitty I'd be so mad. Sticker. Yeah, that's why I like so it. fucking mad. It's better like to buy off of Amazon or something like that, or even yeah. write stuff if you want to go like a little bit more indie. It's like that's that's better because Barnes Noble don't give a shit. It's like they'll just put it on whatever. They try their best. They mean well, but eh, not that, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that store is a bit for uh, old boomers. So yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Oh, anything happen with you guys? Anything new? Well, uh. My car got vandalized. Oh, right. Oh, that's right. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys the story. Did you not have it? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much uh, last Thursday, you know, I, I go out to my car, you know, after work because I'm going to, I want to go to the gym. Of course. You know? Of course. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, and then I see a fucking like device under my, my car. It's a blue device. And uh, it turns out to be a jack, like a jack. Like a uh, car jack. A, yeah, yeah. A car is jack. it like the, the the big ones that you use as a lever? It's, or is like, it a, the... it's like a mini one. Oh, uh, okay. The lever is like detachable, so, but it was left oh, right so you next could, to like, it. Oh, like take it out and stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. crazy. Yeah. So it was left there. There was a rag there, and and there's a bag of crystal meth. Oh, really? Oh, my next to God. It. There was a bag of, it was like. How'd you know it was meth? <laughs> there was a crystals, and it was white. Mm-hmm. What else could it be? Crack, you, cocaine? I don't think it's cocaine. Okay. Okay. I don't think it's, I know cocaine, you know, now, not from experience. This is but the real question. Not from did that bag magically disappear or did it end up with the police? Uh, we flushed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like how you're like, we flushed it. I did, okay. I didn't want to hand it off to the cops, you know, because uh, initially I opened it to like smell it. Oh, now your prints are of it. Wow. Yeah. My, yeah. My, my, I'm like, uh, this is kind of sketchy. You yeah. You're like, this is sus. So, uh, when Vivi got home, we, we flushed that shit. You Wait, know? so you guys destroyed evidence? Yeah. No, no, you say no. You say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you say no. Uh, yeah, so anyways, um, after inspecting, you know, the jack, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then I lower it, I release it, and my car just, like, thumps down. Yeah. 
Uh, and then I'm like, this is weird, right? Uh, so I, you know, I take the drugs, the jack, put it in my trunk, uh-huh. whatnot. Start my car, and it sounds like a fucking jet engine. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I'm like, that's how I knew like my catalytic converter was like just yoinked. And so yeah. I look under my car, and there's like a cut pipe. And uh, it's gone. They straight up just cut it. Yeah. They didn't even like try to undo it. They just went straight in. Yeah. My theory is that um, while they were, uh, you know, cutting it off, uh, maybe one of the other residents saw them. So they just jumped in the car and jetted. You uh, know? So that's why they, they, they left, left, the left jack everything there. else. Yeah. You know? I mean, it makes sense. Fucking junkies. Or, well, I mean, it's like a $30 jack versus a yeah. $1,000 part. They don't care yeah. at that point. But this is not the first time they try to break in your car, right? Or do something in your car. Uh, no, a week before that, <laughs> there is a suspicious person, uh, you know, tampering with my car. So why is your car such a hot target? Like, why did like where did they solo out your car? Like, it's it's, it's, it's an older model. It's a u- older Honda models and stuff like that. So they're and so easily the are, accessible. Uh, yeah, more exposed. Yeah. What, so newer cars, because I know you were saying for your car, they so are all newer cars kind of coming with like a plate? Kind of, like, they'll probably have something to protect against yeah, it now it going like forward. A, like a panel but, over it now. Yeah. But my car has a legit skid plate from I believe the bumper where it starts all the way stretching about halfway through the car, mm-hmm. and they say it's in case you know you're driving like a fucking reckless idiot and it scrapes, you don't lose anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I also think it's partially to protect you from stuff like that. Yeah. And that's good. I think car manufacturers yeah. should, uh, I can't take, I can't do my oil change cause I have to lift the car up and then <laughs> remove the fucking plate and then yeah. all that stuff. I don't know. It's frustrating. Yeah. When I looked up my new car, like when I was researching, I researched where is the catalytic converter in the car. <laughs> and then I watched the video. It's like all the way inside uh, the front of the engine. Oh, nice. So it's, it's tucked away. It's uh, secured by a panel with like four lug nuts. Nice. And so I'm like, I think we're good. <laughs> I think this is the one. Because it's definitely a thing. Like I was telling you when you first were talking about it, is that I see on the ring, because the ring has like the neighbors portion of the yeah. app. Yeah. We're basically like if any suspicious shit happens or like whatever, people post there for absolute garbage. But a lot of times like, hey, it's like I lost my cat. Hey, I lost my dog. Like, has anybody seen, you know, whatever. It's like, here's suspicious people on my porch at 2 a.m. But so much of it, like the past month or two, has been my catalytic converter was stolen. Like, my yeah. catalytic converter was stolen. Like, yeah. It's like, hey, someone just stole my catalytic converter. Here's the video. It's like, just nonstop that. I'm like, dude, what the hell? And I thought for a while it was the Cadillac converter. So it was for Cadillac. <laughs> oh. And I was yeah. like, dude, how do all these – there's a lot of <laughs> Cadillacs these, these Jack. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, these bougie people. I was huh? like, they're taking all these parts off these Cadillacs. I don't know what's yeah. going on. They're Robin Hooding them. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, I just see it nonstop. So that's like immediately yeah. when you're like, oh, it's like oh, – Someone's gonna take that fucking I see a bunch of like articles like on the news nonstop about it. Mm-hmm. Um, just recently on the news, there was a shipping container that the uh, the cops uh, found uh, that had like two hundred plus catalytic converters. Jesus, in it. yeah, and I think it was like being shipped off to like get resold. Somewhere. So why I don't understand why the sudden change and like where did this come from that all of a sudden these pieces are such a hot commodity? Well, they're meant for like um there's like a there's um like platinum inside of it yeah. and like it's it's valuable material. And you can melt it down and use so it for So part other of it has stuff. to do with the metal shortage that's happening and that's yeah. why it's all of a sudden such a big thing. And then not only that it's like you need it in order to pass smog tests in America yeah, and stuff like that. So oh. cuz uh, you have to have a certain level of uh what is it uh emissions emissions yeah like the the emission has to be at a certain level that's why you're supposed to get oil changes and stuff because your car's running cleaner that way and you don't have to worry about it being like polluting the air yeah and that helps filter all of that out but people you know fuck them yeah that's true i i just like i i've heard about it before but uh you know you're course, you're, you're the anybody. first person i've ever right? like known and that's been course, affected fucking happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah but like that's crazy because it was in your parking structure and like everything in Is there park- no cameras in your parking structure? Okay, I'll t- dude, today. <laughs> okay, okay, let me, let me take a second, step back. Okay. So I called my my leasing office the day after to bitch them. I'm yeah. like, you know, hey, do you guys have any cameras? Because my catalytic converter got stolen. They're like, oh no, we don't. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm like, in a you fucking apartment like, like complex, care. you don't think there would should Why be? Why would they have no cameras? They they, they don't care. Because it's not like a privacy thing. Like, why would they not? Uh, like, cameras are cheap. That's, like, yeah. But, yeah, that's yeah. just a safety thing. I asked thing. them, like, uh, do you guys have any plans to install cameras? Because, you know, me and, and, me and a couple other residents, because it's happened yeah. all over our parking structure. And I was like, me and a couple of residents, um, our car has gotten vandalized. And you guys are failing the residents yeah. by not, you know, securing the uh, the premises. You know, higher security, the yeah. cameras. Do you guys yeah. have any plans to do it? And they're like, uh no, but and I'll bring it up in the next meeting. I'm like, you oh ain't my doing god, shit, yeah, <laughs> you ain't doing. So then I wrote a Yelp review Aye. for them. 
gave them the lowest rating and I just chewed them the fuck out. I'm like, these people care more about what you put on your patio than the, the parking structure. Yeah. You know, that type of thing. That's your car. That's ec- that's actual equity. Yeah. yeah. I got a great idea. We'll film a little ad, like a little shitty little ad, you know, like you would see on like pay for television, telling people to come here to steal Cadillac converters. With like, yeah. oh. No and, cameras, <laughs> walk right in. It's like, just reach over the gate. Just come on in. It's like, and that like old school text, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo. You want to make a quick buck? Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Like, we'll even like, do it in 720. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be perfect. You put the little, the grain filter on it. It looks yep. real good. Because apparently that's the easy pickings. They that, pro- honestly, they probably know that. They probably figured out at this point that there's no cameras in there. Yeah. Like we do whatever we want in there. But the craziest like, thing is like, how the fuck do they get in there? They just wait for someone to leave. Oh, okay. so they're literally just staked out. Yeah, yeah. Because you just park on the side. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, it's been my place, yeah. right? There's like that gate that opens with a control. You can just wait for someone to come out or yeah. go in and then yeah. just enter. It, it ain't a big deal. That's crazy. That's it's, frustrating. It seems like the simple fix for them would be like, yeah, we'll just get a security guard. Like, that's not expensive. It no. is not. It's like, especially if they're raking in the money off of owning that whole apartment complex. Like, that is. Right? That's yeah. a and you guys, you guys have a nice ass place, too. They're uh, they're charging the people like, you know, 2.5 to 3K per spot, you know? Yeah. They, at least they can do it. Like, do you guys have to pay for your guys' parking spot or just get two um, automatically? Uh, The first one's free. We have to pay for an additional one. Really? Which is kinda dumb. That's fucking mm. dumb. So next next place I get, I'm gonna be more of an asshole uh, what, during during like the vetting yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I feel it's smart. Yeah, I don't fucking know, man. That sucks. That's one of the things too, where it's yeah. like even in our park structure, like for work, like there's security going around. I know they have cameras in there. It's like they're oh, constantly yeah. patrolling yeah. and shit. Where it's like that's kind of scandalous. Just it, leave that all that stuff I out there. I wish we had security over at our place because ah. there's a bunch of bums over there. Yeah. It's sketchy. Yeah. Uh, do you park in that spot like right in front of your your house? At my house? Yeah, your place. Like oh. that, those spots in front of your uh, I have the door? garage, so I just park in there. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, I, nice. I told I That's told good. both the girls, I'm like, I'm getting the garage. I don't give a fuck. My <laughs> but Bridie wh- parks out in the... She parks... So currently, the way they do it is so stupid. I don't know who's in charge of that fucking place, but apparently you're allowed the two parking spots in your garage. Mm-hmm. You're allowed one additional parking in the uh, neighborhood, and that's it. Okay. So if you have four cars... One of the cars has to get parked either across the street at the car wash or in a random neighborhood. And the car wash? So yeah. Do they allow that? Yeah, they so let yeah, that. Is yeah. that actually allowed or is that just like a... It's like the guy who owns the car wash is like, yeah, that's cool, but you guys have to move it during business hours. Oh, okay. So okay. that's why like people... That's very nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Most businesses are very like ruthless. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. He's like... The guy was chill. He's just like, yeah, I don't care. Okay. That's oh. where I always park when I go to your house. So. Yeah, I know. You guys just walk right across <laughs> the street. Damn, I should do that. I've been, I've been parking in the fucking church. Like, all the way down. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, Why? That's that's where Bridie parks. She parks all the way over there. Oh, my God. But because um, <laughs> if we leave it over at the car wash, we're afraid that something's going to happen to the cars overnight. Yeah. But leaving them over there, all the houses over there have ring doorbells and stuff like that. I sculpted it out already. So I I've told her, leave the car near here. We're good. And then we'll go and uh get rid of her old car. And then we'll get her new car registered to the house and all that stuff which is a giant pain in the fucking ass because they're like where's your registration oh your guys' updated address what oh do, is your guys' ids updated is your address uh, updated on your id it is not see oh that's how mine was it so, is not. so why, i had to go care? i had to go and do it and then they're like no we need the physical copy i'm like no we just sent you the fact that we changed it yeah. we just didn't pay for the new card to come in they're like exactly well exactly. we want that's that they're all like I'm well hearing, we want that address not updated and you destroyed evidence we gotta take that guy out. <laughs> yeah, he knows too much. He knows way too much. <laughs> Destroy the evidence. Yeah, game over, dude. It's like I, I get you better do whatever yeah. I want now. That's a <laughs> black situation. So. But it's so annoying because you have to go onto the DMV, you have to go and click a, a update address, and you have to type in your name and create a whole fucking profile. Yeah, let for me yourself. spoil that for you already. How the DMV website is absolutely gangbusters, like AIDS. It's, it's not good. Disgusting. I hate mm. it. Yeah, I had to do that all for like my permit stuff and like get mm-hmm. my license. Mm-hmm. It, it, and they have this new thing where like they try. A lot of websites have this where they have this thing pop up. Oh, what can I help you with? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, yes. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate that. They want to play twenty questions with you, like you're playing. Who's the fucking genie that guesses the characters? It's like that's what they're playing with you. Uh, like like uh, Aki, something. Like that? Yeah. 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 yeah, yes, yes, like Akinator or whatever. Yeah. The fuck. It's like, is it this? It's like, oh, can I just like stop? It's like I know what I'm looking for. If you just give me the fucking thing, I'll just yeah. go right in. But it's like he just decides to be a fucking piece of shit, and I'm just like, dude, I can't be helped. I can't be arsed. It's it's annoying. It's so annoying. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, don't bad luck with that dog. Absolutely bad luck. With I that. fucking hate it. Well, my my car's fine. It's registered to the house and everything, and it lives in the garage. I don't move it on the weekends, really. Okay, that's good. 
Dude, I still need to go to DMV to update my picture. I have my like 16 year old picture. Dude, <laughs> same. I have one where I was wearing a beanie and my hair was so flat when I took the picture. It's yeah. just like my hair suction cup to my head. It's just, I can't be bothered to go to DMV. They, no. they do that in like two minutes. When I was there getting my oh, really? test done, yeah. Uh, Katie wanted to get her photo. Up, yeah, no point. Oh, she just walked yeah. in? She wanted to get her a photo updated. She walked to the counter and like, okay. And they just like did the thing, like go over to the photo thing. And then they took her photo, like it'll be mailed to you in like, like a few weeks. Okay, what? That's did not you have bad. to pay for it, like the $36 yeah, or whatever? Yeah, there's some sort of payment to yeah. it, but it's like super cheap because like yeah. you're basically just buying the new little ID thing. Um, but yeah, she just walked in and did no problem. Have you guys done it. your new real ID? I got it when we got my driver's license. Oh, okay. So What's the deadline for that? They keep like pushing it back. It's March of next year, I believe. That you need it for uh, so, if you want to travel. Yeah, so I might end up having to get it just because work is going to m- probably send me to mm-hmm. some other part of the fucking country for a bit. Well, not for a bit, but just like for a weekend or something like that. Let me ask you an important question also. Have you guys done your taxes? Yeah. Yeah. Today's the last day. I did my taxes yesterday. Oh! <laughs> Wait, did you pay already? <laughs> what? Did you, did you end up having to pay? Uh, no. no. I, I ended good. up having to pay. I had to pay. Why? Oh, oh, we made stocks. too much money. My stocks. My stocks. Yeah. Oh, I made too much money. Really? Oh, $200 worth of too much money for them. Damn. I was like, what the fuck? That's you my- must, I know you can select an option like when you're getting your tax pays out. If you want them to take like less or more, and then that's mm-hmm. when it gets fucked. I always try to get money back. I tell them to take as much as they can now because uh, fuck them. I don't want to pay. Yeah. Yeah, I it's not it. fun. It's a fucking shitty experience. So I didn't think I made that much money, but then they're like, oh, looks like uh, you actually know. And I'm like, <gasps> they always go to me that I make so little money. Like, oh, well, let's see if you apply for this benefit. And it's like, you are a single white male. Nope. <laughs> it's yep. like, it's like, they're oh, like we, uh nope it's like we thought you were poor enough nope <laughs> it's, like, it's like enjoy being poor cunt it's like and then i just get nothing from the irs like okay thanks do you do it uh on uh, turbo tax yeah. yeah i've done it on turbo tax and i've done it on h r block i've done it on both different one i every time turbo tax has got it streamlined now but previously yeah. i've had the worst time getting to both accounts every time i have to do my taxes i, I just I just walk into H and R and be like, "Here, yeah, that's nice. Oh, nice. That's nice. I always I try. To do I it hate online. paying for it, but yeah, online is totally free. Yeah, but then they do this thing. TurboTax doesn't really do it anymore, which is fucking lovely. They used to do this thing, and I know I've bitched about it before. I'm almost certain on this podcast where you log in, and then it goes, "Hey, do you want to pay to retain your information?" And I'm like, "No, I'm gonna want to do the free one." Like, okay, and then they'll show you deleting all the information, like as Avengers Endgame, all your information yeah. fading mm-hmm. off of the screen. And it's like, oh, fuck you. you gotta sit there and watch. And Scare like, tactics. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then they're like, all right, re-enter all your information. And then you got to start over square one. <laughs> this year, they did not do that at all. I don't know what changed, but they were just like, yeah, here's your old They're probably like these people. And then it's the same thing. They're like, do you want basic or do you want like talk? It's like, I just want basic. Like, okay, here. They keep they're, pushing they were like, the upgrades. Yeah, they were giving you know? away the upgrade for free like uh, – before April, if yeah. you well. if you did it before April, you could get like the big boosted one. And I was like, I had to pay for an upgrade because like um, to file your your stocks. Yeah, your shit, stocks like is a different. That, yeah, that if if yours is just vanilla and you're just like, yeah. all right, here you go, yeah. that's it, boom. Yeah, that was my well, my was I just put it through because I, I all of last year I worked for Barnes Noble. Yeah, the mm-hmm. whole thing. I didn't even start my new job till January, so I was like, yeah. wow, that worked out fucking perfect. <laughs> so I just did my Barnes Noble stuff, put that in. It's like cool. And it's like, let's check to see if you get your breaks. Nope, you're fucking poor. And it's like, <laughs> it like, okay, cool, man. It's like, man, I submit that shit. All right, so how much do you guys put that you donate to charity? <laughs> I, oh, uh, do we want us to stop? <laughs> Danny, so how much do you uh, donate? Yeah, go ahead, criminal. <laughs> you, you already got him on two things. I, I'm just, this I, is a hypothetical. I dare you to say, go ahead, criminal. I bet you're doing the minimum, which is 300. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> anyway, what is the minimum? What are we talking? Is, so, so you, I got that question as an honest citizen. I just put zero. <laughs> <laughs> so you can donate, but you have to provide them with something. So it's like if you do it to a church, they usually give you a like a like a stub or something. At the end, they're That's like, only, you donated this much only, money. Only, only over like a certain amount. Uh, over three hundred dollars. Yes, which is the minimum but that so you have what, to. So if you put that you donated, what are you getting from? You're basically saying they're basically saying, "Oh, you gave up uh, enough money away. We're gonna give you some of that money back because you donated." It's like a tax break. So how much percentage money do you get back? I. It depends on how much you give. I don't know. I've never so done hypothetically, it. like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've never done so, it. So like, <laughs> hi, hypothetically, if you were to say like, a thousand, what's what's a crazy number, Danny? Like, if you were uh, two fifty. <laughs> okay, if you were to put two fifty on your taxes, how much additional do you get back? Well, that means that you know, hypothetically, if I owe taxes, they would uh, you know do, reduce that a little. Oh, bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know? So it's only it's only really a benefit if you're owing taxes. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, got it, got it, got it. That's why a lot of companies will give away a bunch of shit and yeah. say that, oh, it's priceless. Oh, it's this much money. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Wow, wow. Today I learned. <laughs> <laughs> I always put zero because I assume they, they're very easy to track that. That's what I out, thought. So. And then the lady was looking at me. She's like, oh, you know, for next time, just letting you know, you gave some away, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah, it, I kind of want to, like, if I get to that point, I'm definitely not going to do it myself. I hate doing it. It's a stressor every time. It I, sucks I ass. cannot do it. I hate doing it. My, well, like, I got mail from Barnes & Noble. I don't even know why I got this. They sent me, like, uh, like it looked like a W-2, like, where you got to rip the things yeah. to open it up. I'm like, yeah. oh, I got my W-2. So then I pulled it out of my little portfolio. I was like, I'm all set to do my taxes. Got it right in front of me. Open it up. It's, like, my health insurance coverage. Like, Oh, yeah, I do that. My, they have one of those for yeah, me, Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. why did I just get sent that? And I thought they it was my W-2. They have to send it to you, though. It's like a... It's just and I'm like I'm looking one. at that I'm like okay it's like I already know I had health insurance like so I which by the way I paid at the wazoo for health insurance how much did you pay at this new new place at Barnes Noble oh, I Barnes. paid like I think 150 a month or something like that Aye. what the fuck why so much yeah I know Barnes and Noble I know Aye. dude is that crazy I, I mean I pay like, one, like I pay 130 oh, Jesus is that crazy that's so crazy Wait, what do you what like, do you pay. Uh, I paid like eighty, but I mean, this is a salary job, you know. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. different than Barnes and Noble. Yeah, because yours crazy. is out of every paycheck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, one fifty. That's how they got. That's how they got me. They're yeah. like, oh, it's like we're just gonna take this amount of every paycheck. Like, oh. Mine's one thirty, but because I have high dental, high vision, high yeah. uh, health, just in case I ever d have to go to the hospital. My big thing was, fuck, if I have to go to the hospital, I don't want to go to a pleb hospital where everyone's yeah. at. I want to go to Hogue. Yeah. I want to go to Kaiser where they yeah. can take care of you and get your own room. Hey. Yeah. You have Kaiser now, right? I will just say I have somebody at my new work who has a lot of health problems, like a lot, a lot, like where he has to get like transfusions every month or else he'll like kind of. Are they diabetic or something? Um, I don't know what they are. So I, I haven't pried into that, but they got something like really wrong with them. Um, they hate Kaiser and say Kaiser sucks. Really? Yeah. But they're like on the far spectrum where like they are going to the doctor. They go like, often. The yeah. They're going like specialists. Yes. Need that yeah. Shit, yeah. You know? They said that Kaiser will do everything in their power like to fight you on that. Like, oh, but like okay. not going to like a specialist or like doing anything like yeah. that. So oh. he hates their guts. Is, are you guys HMO or PPO? Couldn't even fucking tell you a thing. Can you? Do you, you have, have to go to a list? I have Kaiser. HMO. So HMO, yeah. HMO. Yeah, because I have Hogue and uh, <laughs> Kaiser. So I can go to uh, mine's HMO Plus yeah, or whatever nice. the hell it is. That's pretty nice. I didn't know that was an option. Yeah, you should be able to go to Hogue. Is it Hogue for kids? No, no. So there's Hogue Kids, and then there's a new Hogue in Huntington Beach. <laughs> oh, I thought it was for kids. No, no, they do. It, All the commercial I see is for kids. They have a Hogue Kids, and then the, it's like chalk. Are they going to like chalk, I think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think Ho Hogue and Children's chalk are hospital. similar, right? Children's Hospital? Uh, Orange of County? Orange County, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, it's like, it's it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Nice, dude. But yeah, yeah. I'm hey, happy for you. It's nice. It's nice. State of the art. I haven't been there yet. I haven't yeah. set up my appointments to go in there. I have yeah. to go get blood drawn. What's your health insurance, Danny? Kaiser. Oh, Bob. Let's go. All right. So, like, we're all 30. Yeah. We're approaching 30, right? So, well, I think, I, I'm the only one that's 30 here. Yeah. Okay. We're most of us here are uh, we're 30 we're all, not 30. most of us approaching 30. Yes, yes. 30 ish. Uh, I think we should help focus on our health. You know, like, it's going to start catching up to us. I agree. I 100% agree with I you. I agree. I like. We got to stay active. Take walks, at least. That know? being said, let me tell you. Right here, buddy. Let me tell you, the last five minutes, I've been thinking in my head, I could really go for pizza right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, so that sounds delicious. Out of the group, who do you think is going to have the most health problems? Me. 100%. You? I'm already fucked. I, I list, thought Josh. I could list a couple for you that are not going well already in my Re favor. Ooh. My lungs are so fucked. They're yeah. so fucked. And like. I know they're really bad, and I went the last doctor I went, which is thank God I'm switching over to Kaiser. I told him I had lung problems, and the problem is I also told him I previously had COVID. Yeah. So then they just write it off, like, oh, it's COVID. I'm like, no, no, like there's something serious wrong with my lungs, and eh, it's COVID. It's like, dude. And then I, here's another one for you. I cannot get a solid night's rest at all, not a single time. Is this after COVID? This is like has been a thing for years yeah. now, where I just like I swear to you, I probably wake up seven, eight times a night. Okay, really? So that that's yeah. I agree with yeah. you on that. Yeah. I I yeah. do that every now and then. We're all t toss and turn for a little bit, but yeah. uh, I've been pretty good about because I work out more now, yeah. so that helps me go back to sleep and stay yeah. asleep. Not I even when I was working out, I still wake up seven eight times a night. I can sleep for however long, and I always wake up tired. I can't tell you. Do off you the, know if you snore? Uh, Katie has told me that I do. Sleep you might, apnea? yeah, you might have sleep apnea, so you're not getting yeah. a full night's rest. Katie has told me that I do, and I get, I honestly, I can't recount off the top of my head the last time I woke up and felt rested. I am like permanently in a state of being tired. But you're also very stressed. 
Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> fact number three. Well, I'm, I'm just saying you're stressed. <laughs> I mean, we got the yeah. channel to yeah. worry about. You got yeah. your work and yeah. everything else. You got bills to pay. Mm-hmm, true. Yeah. American Welcome dream. to California. American dream. Yeah, I'm definitely going down first. You think so? Yeah. Uh, I would. I would say Josh only because like his family. They have history, a, they have a lot of you, just problems. Yeah. You know? Back like, back yeah. problems. Their mom has, I think. You know, diabetes. My back is definitely stuff. fucked up too. Add that well, to yeah, the fact. Yeah, you're very tall fact. too. Yeah, tallness is gonna kill me. So that'd be the way to go. We gotta get your knees done so you can get shorter, dude. You're telling me. You reduce your dick too. You know. Yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> 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 Someone went with me to take a potato peeler too, just shave off a little bit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard knock life, really. <laughs> dude, yeah. fucking. I'll be close behind for sure. But yeah, so. no, no, I agree. I'm like, I want to go on hikes. I want to like, I fucking love hiking. Yeah. I love working out. We could do a fun experiment after this. Is I'll go outside and we'll just take off into a full sprint. No, no. no okay. I will. I like day for me. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely know that I will fucking get a cramp in the middle of the night. I won't get it right away. Yeah. It'll happen in the middle of the night for some fucking reason. I can feel like when I was working out, like actively doing that, when I would do my leg days, I definitely feel my knees are done. They're just over. Mm-hmm. They're like when I was doing this, you know, uh, the, the thing I was telling you about that, uh, where you do like the big walk and you kneel, like we were doing in like the, lunge. In the, yeah, yeah. It's like a lunge. I don't know if that's what it's called, but when I do that with the weights, I could definitely feel my knees. Like, are you hitting the ground? Um, I think I'm going like right before I'm not hitting the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm not going all the way down to yeah. the ground. You can get, um, knee braces and stuff like that. Stuff that, uh, like yeah. kind of holds everything in place. It's definitely game over. So my knees are done. <laughs> Hey, get ahead of it now. All right? yeah, Do what yeah. you can now yeah. before it's it true. gets too late. It's true. Well, it's like, what? Um, who was it recently? Like, Chris Hemsworth said he's in the best shape of his life now. He's like 30-something. True. true. So it's like, we could always get to that level. That's why I've been telling Katie, because, like, she's a youngin, you know, and she's out here, like, thinking her life's over. It's like, 30's the new 20, dog. That's what I'm telling you. 30's no, the new 20. Th- 30 really is. It yeah, really is. I've heard that many yes. a time, yeah. okay? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, game over. Like that we goes. haven't even peaked yet. That's what yeah, happened. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Twenty is like you're, you're kind of like you're working those like uh, retail jobs. And you're kind of mm-hmm. broke. You're kind of settling kinda in. Like, yeah. You're doing better. You yeah. Know? You have more things. You have, you have more opportunities. I mean, look at it. Uh, Ten years ago, you were still living with your, your mom. Dick's bigger. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How do you know that? <laughs> How do you know? Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> that. I'm just saying that. Incriminating. I'm sure, I'm sure my dick grew from the age of twenty to thirty. I'm just I saying. invited Danny to come over and snuggle the other day, and he turned me down. So. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, when mm-hmm. I was in the movie seeing Harry Potter, so you come over and snuggle if you want. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I called you in the middle of the, the fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, and I told you it was trash on the spot. <laughs> it's like, dude, I literally walked out probably like right before the climax was about to kick off, and I was like, thank God. <laughs> yeah, thank God. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, thank fucking God. That movie yeah. sucked ass. It was like, there's nothing else I can say about that movie. Don't see Fantastic Beasts. It's not no. garbage. I mean, I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> it's all I can fucking say. So yeah, I'll either live time fifty or I'll be one of those weirdos who like is a super unhealthy and I'll live to hundred. I can see that one hundred. I'm going either or. Yes. All right, no. Sam. If you're not going to be the one to go first, who do you think is going to go first? It's Josh, obviously. Josh. Josh? That's the low hanging fruit. He's definitely going. Well, Unless we... Lewis gets shot, then it's like <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's up there too. But uh, like... he has a very intense <laughs> job. Yeah. What if it's Danny out, out of nowhere? Uh, like like uh, a car accident? Yeah. Maybe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Heaven forbid. Car accident? I mean, that'd be the only way. You know, Do you no think anybody would be sad if you died? Hell yeah. Who? You. Yeah. Who would be sad? Anyone. Um, yeah. Not me. Bullshit. <laughs> Sam would be a mess. Be the Sam, would, no, Sam would be a wreck. Be yeah, Sam would be no. such a big wreck. <laughs> oh, yes, you fucking would. <laughs> no. You know what would get him to? If Black Sheep went. No. Yes, you would. You'd no. be so fucking devastated. You're like, I, would, uh, I, I didn't even play a game with Black Sheep in the end. Fuck. I'd bury you guys both together so I could piss on you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah. <laughs> From Black, the grave, <laughs> Black Sheep's going to be like, bury me with my mouth open like yeah. this. <laughs> you would be devastated if you lost Danny. Nope. Uh, yes, yes. Hey, I, we're going to Vegas, right? Yeah, um, we are in August. In August. We're having August. a bounty meetup in Vegas. You guys are having bounty meetup in... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's going to be a shit show. That's going to be nuts. You're going to have to take care of Danny. You're going to have to yeah. take care of Jello. Yeah. I'll be fine because I'll, I'll hang out with Jello and we, we could just take care of each other. You are you sure? You ain't young enough to hang out with Jello. No. no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> You're lightweight. It's no, game over, yeah. dude. Yeah. He, he has too much energy mm-hmm. for me. Uh, who else? I mean, Black Sheep. Is so Tesco just, coming down? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think I could chill with Tesco. He, I need, I get vibe on his level. He's probably gonna bring his wife. I don't know though, who's all he? confirmed, but we have Chris, Lord, Tesco, me, Danny, uh, Black Sheep, Jello, and 
that's all I know. Maybe but. some of the other Georgia boys. Maybe like Shelly, I think. Yeah. yeah, all I know is the, those people right now. So, But those are the ones that are always kind of like hopping around everywhere and doing stuff. So mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Yeah. But I actually was showing flights from Florida, and he was at like $500. I was like, that's expensive. Did he? Yeah. That was not uh, that expensive when I went. The no fucking way. I bet like 100 something. I heard. I heard uh, you bet 100 Yeah. What? Dude. Okay, you must have like flown like it's just like off. off <laughs> well, I did you go a, on a uh, spirit? I did take a connecting flight to Phoenix <laughs> over to Orlando. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fine. Yeah. I, I would, I would yeah, take a connecting you, flight. You're yeah. totally fine. I mean, yeah. plus you didn't have anything on you like other than a backpack, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, that'll be fun. I'm I know. Okay. I, I got to fly up to fucking Northern California in July. Where, to where? To where? a little bit. I'll probably I'll fly to Sacramento, I think, and then go. Sacramento's ghetto, dude. I know, I know it's ghetto it's as fuck. super ghetto. But I, I'm just going to get a fucking rental car and drive like an hour or two to my uh, cousin's house. Where do they live? Uh, I don't know the name of the city. Because oh, okay. I know what, some of them live in Chico and some of them live in Gridley. You visit a national landmark and go to Galt. That's where I was raised. So. <laughs> national landmark. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nobody ever knows where Galt is. I've never heard of it. <laughs> it was not that it's funny. so obscure. <laughs> it no, it's funny. the way you said Galt. That's what it's called. It's Galt. <laughs> yeah, we're going to drive by and be like, <laughs> this is where, where Sam, Sam was born. <laughs> Galt. Yeah. 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 It's outside of Stockton somewhere. Should so. we, uh, should we uh, call your dad and be like, hey, Papa Blankenship. Uh, so we passed by Galt. Well, that was my mom's. Area. Oh, that was so, your mom's? Yeah, oh, yeah, oops. Yeah. yeah. I saw it. So yeah, he touched my hand. <laughs> you saw that, right? I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I was wondering. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, let's call it. Uh, it's getting a little homoerotic, so we're going to go and go off camera on that one. So uh, thanks so much The egg for watching, wasn't guys. lying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Otaku Podcast. As always, Jose, Danny, be back every Wednesday for a new one. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, or follow us on anywhere you get your podcast. We'll be there. Bye, everybody. Bye.